happy to be anywhere. Who's lonely? Oh my God. <laughs> I need to get out more. I know because I was getting the targeted ads on my Instagram for the dating apps, the hookup apps. Now I'm just getting a weird ad for a weighted blanket that simulates the feeling of being held by a person. <laughs> yeah, I know, I bought it. <laughs> it is so heavy. I was the crazy girl in college and now I'm just living that epilogue. <laughs> Any ladies you ever thought you were roofied, hmm? Later, you realize that you just had 18 cocktails. Whoopsie. <laughs> Morning after, your friends are concerned. <gasps> what did you drink? Then the truth comes out. I'm like, I just had like three or four martinis. <laughs> Couple double gin and tonics. <laughs> like seven or eight shots of Patron. Oh, I drank some mezcal from the bottle. <gasps> But then I had a glass of Pinot Grigio. And that was when I started losing consciousness. <laughs> My friends are like, girl, you roofied yourself. <laughs> I'm in denial, like, no, 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 no. Someone roofied me. And then safely escorted me to my ex-boyfriend's apartment. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> yeah, that really happened. I know, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Oh, his wife was mad. <laughs> I have to drink when I go out. I have social anxiety. Have you guys ever fake smiled so hard that without realizing it, your face contorts into a mask of fear? <laughs> I'm the weird one of my girlfriends too. You know, you go out with the ladies, you play sex in the city, right? Ooh, who's Carrie? Who's our Samantha? They get around to me like, Katie, are you Charlotte? I'm like, uh, I think I'm Steve. <laughs> My friends all have houses and families. I don't have health insurance. Yeah. I went to pick up a prescription. It was $99. I've never felt healthier in my life. <laughs> when I get sick, I just make chicken soup out of low-grade poultry, and I hope the antibiotics seep out. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I used to have health care at my old job before I was a hilarious comedian, thank you. <laughs> I, um, I was a preschool teacher for a long time, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> thank you, yeah. Uh, I taught preschool for six years, oh, the whole time. The kids were teaching me <laughs> that I hate kids. <laughs> I look like somebody who loves kids. I was in the park. This baby just wanders up, sits on my blanket. I look over. His parents are like, oh, he likes you. It's just like, oh my God, you know, at what point do I tell them that I'm on acid? <laughs> oh, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Not about the acid, but um, no, I do like kids. I do. I would love to have kids of my own, but I'm just focusing on my career right now. You know, you can't have it all, right, ladies? Even though that's only two things. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. Dating feels like work, doesn't it? Ugh. Especially that first date, you're just sitting there, subtly trying to find out if the man you're with is a sociopath. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sports. Have you ever hurt an animal? 
I never wear my glasses when I go out on a date, you know, because I want to look sexy <laughs> and illiterate. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, does this menu come in braille? <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I just got glasses a few years ago, and uh, let me tell you, everything has come to light. <laughs> I found out I had been sending the winking emoji the entire time. <laughs> yeah, that really changes the tone of your casual work email. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, Richard, thank you so much for the private meeting in your office. <laughs> it was super helpful. Huh? <laughs> oh, mystery solved! Apparently, I initiated the harassment. <laughs> I know, sorry everybody, I have kind of a lot of dark jokes for someone who looks like she owns a muffin shop. <laughs> I'm Katie Hannigan, thank you! Thank you! She'll be at the Westside Comedy Club in Manhattan on Friday, August 10th. Katie Hannigan, everybody!